Hello and welcome to Matt's ICT Lab. So today we're going to learn about mail merge and how to do a mail merge. So to do a mail merge we need two files. We need our master file which is this one here and we need our source file which is this one here. Okay and our source file in this case is in Excel and this is where all our addresses are saved. Okay essentially what we'll be doing is we'll be taking these 25 addresses and we'll be inputting them into these letters. Okay, so there's one letter here and we'll make 25 copies with uh, different addresses from our source file. Okay, now this specific letter is personalized for the parent. And this field here says whether they have a son or a daughter in the school and that'll be input here. Okay, so going to close this just now we don't need our master we don't need our source file open we'll just do some work on our master file before we get started so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a date okay we insert an automated date in this case by going to insert quick parts and it's a field that I'm inserting a date field in this case so there's date there and we've got a number of different date formats we can choose from. Now if you ever get a question where you're asked to insert a specific date format and you can't remember what that looks like, just go through them and you'll see the date format up here. All right, the one we're asked for in the book is this version, this, uh, this format here. So we'll insert that in space. And here we have our automated date. And we have the option to update it if we're going to send this out at a later date or use the letter for something else. So, if we're sending this out from the school to the parents, probably a good idea to get rid of any spell mistakes and extra words. You maybe are aware. You may be aware. And just make sure that we've got the letter correct. Okay, so there's our letter set up now and we're ready to start our mail merge. So the first thing we can do is we need to go up to mailings at the top here and we need to link our source file to our master file. So select recipients and we're using an existing list. In this case it is MM students, the Excel file we looked at earlier. So open that and that now links the source file to the master file. Now we need to replace these guides, guides with our merge fields. So for all our merge fields up here and we'll just put them in where we've been asked to put them in. For name, surname and so on. Okay now just make sure that you put them in the right place and sometimes in a question you may not be given these guides to tell you where to put them but you just put it in standard address format title, forename, surname, different lines of address and at the bottom of the zip code okay, and if you're doing one of these yourself for something else that you're doing you won't have them so we need to know how to set this up. Title and then surname goes in and then try not to keep a bit of comma. Okay. And son daughter, as we explained before, will be replaced there. So we've got a son daughter field at the bottom. And this goes here. So here we go, we've got all our merge fields set up and we're just ready to run this. Okay, so to run it we just do finish and merge and we can edit our individual documents. So we can select edit. We don't necessarily have to, but at least this way we'll see them all. Okay. And then here we go. See at the bottom corner here, we've got page one of 25. It's 25 different letters being produced with the different recipients' names at the end there. Now it does appear that we've got the zip code entered twice which we can fix. Okay. So if you have done a mistake like this, 
close your letters, okay, because we've still got our merge or our uh, master file open here. I know letters here, so close them. Don't need to save them. Zip code, zip code, we'll remove that. And then we'll edit in the documents again. And this time we've just got the zip code in once. Okay, it's very easy to, to make changes. And you can see our 25 different letters with the 25 different recipients on and whether they have a son or daughter. Okay, we've got, let's see, Mr. Stuart Davies, and he has a son at the school. Okay, so that's basically how to do your mail merge. Now, we we'll close the letters just now. Okay, we're not going to save them in a moment. And what we do is, we're going to look at how to add a filter. So if you only want to send these letters to specific recipients, you can do that by going up to Edit Recipient Lists in the Mailings tab. So edit recipient list, and in here we can see all the recipients from the Excel file in a list here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to choose to send it to all the recipients from Port Pep Hardware. Okay. So one way you can do it is you can go through and untick them all, but I wouldn't recommend that because it'll take you a long time, and if you've got a lot of recipients, you can make mistakes and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a filter. So we're going to our filter and we're going to put a filter on the address line 3. So the field that we're filtering is address 3. It must be equal to and we're putting port pepper to And this is where your spelling is, is very important. If you don't spell it correctly it's not going to find what you're looking for. I'm just going to filter out all of our names except for port pepper. OK that, and there we go, we've got our six recipients from Port Pepper. So OK that, finish and merge again, edit individual documents, yep, see them all. And then now, it's just selected the recipients from Port Pepper. So rather than having 25 recipients here, we just have six, the six from Port Pepper. OK, now, close letters once again. And this time, we're going to add another filter. Okay, we're going to send it to the recipients from Port Peppered, but only the recipients from Port Peppered who have daughters. Okay, so let's just have a look at what we've got here. So we've got six recipients from Port Peppered, and the top three have daughters, as we can see here, and the bottom three have sons. So we want to get rid of the sons and just leave the daughters recipients there. So we go back into our filter, and we're going to add another one. So field address 3 equal to port peppered and son daughter equal to daughter. Okay, just make sure you're spelled as well. Okay, that and the three sons should disappear from the list here. Okay, that's not work. Let's try again. Send daughter equal to daughter. There we go. And we've got our three recipients from Port Pepper who have daughters. Okay, that. Finish and merge again. Edit individual documents. Okay. And we can see we have recipients from Port Pepper, daughter. And down at the bottom here, you can see page one of three this time. So we only have three letters been set up and it's just the recipients from Port Pepper. Daughters. Alright. What you do is you then print your documents or save them depending on what you're asked to do. Okay, I'm going to close this just now. Back to my master file. And that's how you do your mail merge. Okay. Hope you find this video useful. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thank you.